Resistance is back in Call of Duty World War II Resistance DLC. What's up, guys? My name's Sean, also known as Elite Shot, and today I'm bringing you more early DLC gameplay. If you didn't know, I was flown out to LA to an airfield where they had a gaming setup, a bunch of other YouTubers. There was World War II aircraft and weaponry. It was an awesome event. Very cool spot to record gameplay. And I wasn't even aware that Resistance was coming back in this game. Apparently, I wasn't paying close enough attention to the maps. But it's back, boys. If you played MW3, you would know this map exactly. And let me say, it actually plays surprisingly well in this game. Um, this map was also remade in Infinite Warfare called Ember, I'm pretty sure. So if you're a fan of Call of Duty, then you should like this map. The first mode we played on this map was Domination, which played surprisingly well. I don't mind when developers bring back fan favorite maps. I know some people might hate, but I love the nostalgia. It puts me back in my favorite Call of Duty era. During Modern Warfare 3, that's when I played like the most Call of Duty. I thought the maps in that game were pretty well laid out. And I, I think Sledgehammer Games actually helped develop Modern Warfare 3. Um, a reason why this map is back in this game. Sledgehammer Games did an awesome job with this map pack. I like how all the maps feel a lot different than the maps that came with the game. They have a different feel to them with longer line of sights. But there's also some maps that have a lot of close quarters. So it's a nice mixture. I think map packs keep the game more fresh, more fun. Because it's new content, man. Playing the same maps all the time get boring. So this is a good way to keep things fresh. Yo, in the comment section below, I'm curious if you have a, a favorite map of all time in all the Call of Duty games. I know it's a tough choice, but I'm just curious what you guys' style is and what type of map you prefer. The one that comes to mind for me, I don't know why, but Studio, aka Firing Range, I thought that map was beautiful. I know it's a different developer. I'm just curious what your all-time favorite map is. Out of the Resistance DLC, I'm definitely leaning more towards this map. Not just because I know the feel of it, but I think it actually plays well in this game. This version of uh, Resistance plays better in here than with the jetpacks. And it's kind of funny. The map was called Resistance. The DLC is called Resistance. What is this conspiracy? Alright, so we only played this map twice. And the second time around, it was SND, which... We got kind of steamrolled. We didn't. Our team didn't do so well. We got some snipers. I thought I hit them, but apparently I'm still going down. I don't play Search and Destroy too much, though. It actually does play pretty well in this game. With your life on the line, you got to play much more strategically, as is do with the MG is trying to clutch the round, but unfortunately, not so hot. We lost. We won. We're trying to hold the tie here. Ladies and gents, this is just some more early DLC footage. The first time uh, Sledgehammer invited me out to play, so I was more than welcome to join. Happily came to LA and uh, had some fun playing with some other tubers, man. If you guys have not seen on my channel, I'm going to have the other maps, so definitely check them out. We're allowed to share a new map each day, so keep your eyes peeled, folks. As you're watching this, I'm actually in Mexico City for the Gears of War uh, Pro Circuit Tournament. If you're in Mexico City, I'm in the area. Come say hola. I hope you guys are still enjoying Call of Duty and World War II. I know a bunch of other games are out now, but Call of Duty is always going to be a favorite game of mine. You can't beat that 60 frame per second smooth shooter. I think we'll be seeing Call of Duty around for quite some time. The developers, though, are going to have to think of new ways to keep this game fresh, and DLC map packs are one way of doing that. This gameplay is wrapping up, folks. Thank you for watching. Keep your eyes peeled for more coming soon. If you're not a part of the Empire, definitely subscribe. One million counting, baby. Thank you very much for sticking with me and staying elite. But now, it's my time to sign out. Peace.